Today we'll look at how to create conversion ads from beginning to end. That's right, you'll see all the steps needed to launch your first conversion campaign. Because unlike other Facebook campaigns, conversion ads require you addressing several critical steps before you can actually launch the campaign. And in case you're wondering what on earth a Facebook conversion ad even is, at its core, a conversion ad encourages your audience to take action and optimizes for that action. So if you want more leads or more sales, this is the Facebook campaign for you. Let's begin. Hey, Atime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Question of the day, have you ever run a Facebook conversion ad? Let me know in the comment section down below. We have a good amount of work to do before we can launch our Facebook conversion ad. So as a summary, as we go into the screen share, I want to give you the four items that we need to address. First, we need to create our Facebook pixel. Second, we need to install that Facebook pixel. Third, we need to create the custom conversion. And then fourth and finally, we launch our Facebook conversion ad. The first thing we're gonna do is create a Facebook pixel. And in order to do that, you're gonna go to the toolbar, you're gonna go to pixels, and you're gonna land right back here. All right, so there's already a pixel on this account. So we're gonna create a new pixel from scratch. We can go to that Facebook pixel and then we're gonna put, um, we're just gonna name it. We're not gonna put the URL. We're gonna go to continue. All right, and you are presented with three options. You can either do it directly through a partner integration, assuming you have a website, either a Shopify, Wix, WordPress, Squarespace, this type of website, you would just click on your provider and you're gonna be guided towards the installment of your Facebook pixel. We have already created that Facebook pixel. That first step is done. Now we're on to the second step, which is installing the Facebook pixel, which ultimately has that completeness to it. So we're going to go to manually add a Facebook pixel. The email inst instructions to a developer is just as it says, email to your developer or webmaster so they can install the pixel for you. You put their email information right there and they'll receive the instructions. But for our purposes, we're going to manually add the pixel to our website. We're going to left click over here. It gets automatically copied to the clipboard and we're going to go to a sales funnel. In your case, if you have a CRM that has single property websites, you're going to install it there. If you have a, a traditional website, you can either use the partner, um, the partner option, or if your particular provider is not there, then you can install your pixel yourself. As long as you get to the head tracking code, which this one had a Facebook pixel, but I just replaced it since this is a, a test um, demo, I'm, I input the pixel that you just saw. So you see here, this is that pixel that we just took from over here, the base code that we need. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to save and update the settings. I'm going to move myself back. All right, I'm going to take this URL. I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to send test traffic to it. And just for good measure, I'm gonna open an incognito window and have this fire incognito. Whoops. All right. Now we see that it's active. So we are good to go in that regard. We're gonna to go to continue. I'm gonna move myself back. All right. Now that you've installed the Facebook, uh, now that you installed the pixel base code, you can use the event setup tool to track the actions that matter most to your business without using additional code. Don't get confused, this is a standard event. Now we will do it, but this is a standard event. We still need, need to create a custom conversion in order to run the ads that we wanna run. 
So we're gonna click on that. Now it's asking us for a URL. We already have that ready to go. We're gonna open the website and it's gonna guide us towards a solution. All right, so now track new button. Right there you see it automatically went to the button. So click on the highlighted button to see set up your event. So we're gonna click on that. We're gonna say that this is a lead. Once somebody presses on that, we're gonna confirm. It becomes a lead. We're gonna finish the setup. We're gonna move myself. We're gonna go to finish. Finish. And we're gonna keep moving myself. Was this helpful? Yes, submit, and we're good. Done. All right. Now we're gonna to go to test events. We're gonna move myself one more time. <laughs> Open the website. We're just gonna have that submit. And there you go. As you can see, it registered everything. We set up that lead and it's good to go. Now, don't get confused. We just did a standard event. We want to create a custom conversion at this time. So you see, create a custom conversion. You can go to, to it from here but let's pause for a second. We are good to go. So we created the Facebook pixel. We created the, uh, we actually installed a Facebook pixel. Now we need to create a custom conversion and then we're gonna run the ad. So let's go and do that. We're gonna go to the toolbar. We're gonna go to custom conversions. One quick favor before continuing, please be sure to hit the like button so this video's reach is magnified and others benefit. Also, don't forget to check out my free courses linked down below. Now we go to create custom conversion and then this is where it happens. We see custom conversions allow you to measure unique activities and optimize your ads for the events that matter most to your business. Create a custom conversion by applying rules to existing events. Include events that meet the following criteria. So, we're gonna go back to the sales funnel. This is our landing page. This is a page that people go to whenever you redirect them over from Facebook. Now, the fact that they're here doesn't really mean too much for you because they haven't given you their information at this point. What matters to you is when they reach the thank you stage, the thank you page, because that means they gave you their information. So that's what's meaningful to you once they land here. So once that happens, this is that custom conversion that matters to you because that means that they gave you their information and became a lead. So we're gonna take this URL rather than the landing page URL because this is the meaningful conversion we wanna track. So we're gonna go back here, we're gonna paste that and just so you see what it looks like on the other end, there it is. So that's the thank you screen. And we go with the URL contains this URL because that means that once this fires, that somebody gave us their information. So now we're gonna name it, uh, ba -ba uh, custom conversion. And you're gonna see something else. You're gonna see that it becomes a lead. You can place a value. You don't have to, but you can place it. We're gonna press confirm. And now you've created that custom conversion. So now we've completed step three. Now on to step four in creating that Facebook conversion um, ad. So we're gonna X out of that. Go up here, ads manager. Now we're gonna go to create. And if you're running an ad in the special ad category, you're gonna select it right here. So if you're running credit, housing, or employment type of ads, then you're gonna select it right here. For our purposes, we'll go ahead and run a housing ad or go through the motions of running that housing ad so you see how to take this all the way to completion. And we're gonna highlight conversions. We're not gonna worry about the name. I want you to see more of the functionality. So we're gonna leave the name as is. 
not worry about that, but we will select the pixel that we're working with. So we're gonna go with the pixel that we just created, and now we're gonna select an event. So this is the event that we just created, that custom conversion that we just created. That's what we're after, the, the um, optimization of that conversion, that custom conversion that we just created. We're not gonna worry about cost control or any of these items right now. So if you're running an ad, let's just say in San Diego, you can select that right there. And since this is a special ad category, you start at 15 miles. So just know that. The age is gonna stay the same, gender is gonna stay the same. So if you have some interest, let's just say Zillow as an interest, you can start seeing this reduce the potential reach and if we want to go a little bit more narrow we can put trulia here or misspell it how about that we'll go with trulia it's taking a while to load so we're going to continue going and then you can edit your placements down here now you can go with automatic placements which just means everything is going to be uh, running but we'll just reduce this a little bit and only go with the newsfeed. The Facebook newsfeed continues to outperform in most instances every other type of placement. Now I say in most instances because I still want you to be split testing. Now we're going to leave everything else as is. That is fine with us. I'm going to move myself for the 20th time on this video. We're going to leave the identity as is. We have the single image. Um, option the format to go with so we're gonna add an image now you can use a stock image if you like so we're going to go with house and let's just say that's a good-looking house move myself continue I'll just leave myself for there right now and then up here you're gonna say buy this house but in a little bit more, um, a little bit, a little better way of saying that. And then we're gonna say beautiful home. Description will not last. All right, and for the URL, we're gonna go back to that sales funnel that we just created the custom conversion in. And this time we will use the landing page so they can give us their information. We're gonna paste that. If you didn't have the Facebook pixel, well, you wouldn't be able to get to this stage, but if you didn't have the web, the Facebook pixel, and let's say you were running a traffic ad, then Facebook itself would say, hey, you don't have your Facebook pixel installed. Make sure that you install it. So that's a good reminder. If you're running uh, various landing pages or sales funnels out there that Facebook gives you. And then at this point, you have everything highlighted you just press confirm. This is how you create Facebook conversion ads from beginning to end. If you found value in this video, please be sure to subscribe so we can talk again soon.